Hi, I am Patsy Pabalan. One of the great things about working for the World Bank Group is that some of the brightest minds in the world gather here to share their knowledge. You may have heard of Professor Hans Rosling. I've watched his TED Talk on global population along with, let's see, 2.2 million people. Wow. Hans Rosling is in town to discuss his new challenge in development factfulness and open data. Hi, I'm with Professor Hans Rosling. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Um, so what can the World Bank do more of so that we could get these important information and facts out there and engage a more broad public audience? Well, we are very happy with the open data principle that is used now. And, and uh, you know, the use of World Bank data has increased enormously. What we would like is that the, the organization honor its name. It says the World Bank. But many of the data is just for what you call developing countries. Mm -hmm. I want you not to be the almost World Bank. <laughs> Why not publish also data for all countries? Because mm -hmm. the financial flows, the moving of people, you know, the, 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 the capacities of different countries today doesn't fall into two groups. Mm -hmm. So I would like the data to cover the whole world. Well, there are a lot of information out there. How do you choose the cool data fact that would interest everyone, even those who say don't think they like statistics? I never do that because it's never about data. It's mm -hmm. about real life. Right. It's about real life, what happens out there. It's always take an area which people is interested in and then look, is there some numbers which are not well known? Mm -hmm. Then you pick that and you complement that. Mm -hmm. Don't try to make people interested in numbers. There are only two numbers which I really are interested in and the media is full of them. Mm -hmm. Sport results and stock market. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a last question for you. What is your favorite number? Oh, it's zero. Zero. Without any doubt. I'll show you. I'll show okay. you. I'll show you. Look at this one. Look at this one. A one dollar note. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have any zero. Yes. You see why I'm interested in zero? This one is much more interesting. You see? Okay. Yes, one zero. Increase the value ten times. <laughs> huh? And then this one has hundred dollar. Two zeros. Two zeros. Huh? And this shows you the income on the world. There are about one billion people in the world who live on around one dollar a day. Mm -hmm. Most people in the world live somewhere in between around ten dollar a day, a little less or a little more, you know. And then some are lucky and live in the richer end of the world and they live on hundred dollar a day or more. Mm -hmm. What about yourself? If you think about your income, are you in a group one to nine dollar, ten to ninety dollar or hundred to nine hundred dollar? Which group do you fall into? Probably this one. Yeah, look at you, lucky you, <laughs> yeah. This is the high income countries, the low income mm -hmm. countries, mainly the middle income countries. That's very important to understand those zeros. The main mistakes in this world is that people lump this together and say, oh, they're poor people or these mm. poor countries. The biggest difference is not moving from there to there. It's moving from there to there. Mm -hmm. Because this means light in the house, shoes on the children, a bicycle for transport, an extra bedroom, foam mattresses, the big difference in life is here. Then this is nicer and people want to come here. So this is what I teach for the students. Don't think that there are two groups of people in the world. Think about the world, those who live in extreme poverty, those who have quite a good and wealthy, comfortable life, and the huge group who live here in the middle. That's why it's so nice now that the World Bank and other international organizations have focused on eradicating that. No one should live without a zero on their daily income. Well, thank you so much. I really learned a lot. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much.